Now let's understand some problems based on the moment of inertia of point mass. So let's see the first question. If four masses, point masses, are placed at the vertices of a square of side A, find the moment of inertia about perpendicular axis passing through one corner of the square. So let's visualize over here. This is a square and there are found four point masses, equal value, say M, 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 M. And the side is given as A, as uh, mentioned in the question. They are asking us about an axis perpendicular to the plane and passing through one of the corner. So in this case, perpendicular passing through one corner, let's say it's passing through this corner and it is noted by this point, uh, blue point over here. So the entire square is being rotated about this. So obviously the total moment of inertia will be the sum of moment of inertia of each of the mass which is rotating about the given axis. So in this case, the moment of inertia will be given as, first in this case, the first mass is M. That is, if you see M, it is on the axis only. So its distance from the axis will be zero. So M into zero square, no moment of inertia of that. The second mass is this one, highlighted in red again, M. Its distance from the axis will be obviously the side of the square, which is A. So it will be like M into A square. The third is over here. Over here all, uh, also, this will be like at a distance of A from the axis. So its moment of inertia will be M into A square again. Now the third mass, if you see over here, that is along the diagonal. So, you know, for a square, the diagonal is nothing but uh, given as root 2 times the side. Here, each side of the square is A. So, the distance of the uh, a third mass from the axis, that would be nothing but given as nothing but A root 2. So, in this case, if you consider uh, the moment of inertia, it would be M into A root 2 the whole square. So, it will be like uh, MA square plus MA square plus uh, MA square into 2. That will become 4 ma square. Let's see one more question. If four point masses placed on the vertices of a square of side A, find the MOI, that is moment of inertia, about one side. So one side means like this, axis passing through any one side. Now in this case, it's very simple. The to total moment of inertia, again over here, will be the first mass is that is lying on the axis. Its distance from the axis is 0, so m0 square. This mass over here is at a distance of A from the uh, axis and that will be nothing but equivalent to m into a square. The third one over here is again uh, at a distance of a m a square. And the fourth one is on the axis so it will be m into 0 square. So it will become, become like 2 times m a square. Let's see one more question. If four point masses are placed on the vertices of a square of side a, find the moment of inertia about the diagonal about the diagonal of the square. So this is a diagonal over here. So you can see again along the diagonal for this mass over here, this mass is lying on the axis, so m into 0 square. The second mass over here is distance from the axis. If I see that right angle triangle, then that value would be nothing but equal to a upon root 2. So m into a upon root 2 square. This third mass again will be at a distance of a by root 2, so m into a by root 2 square. And the fourth one is again on the axis, so m into 0 square. If I add the total moment of inertia of this entire sphere about the axis passing through diagonal will be m a square. So I hope you are very clear with this sum.